Okay, it's Sunday summary uh, on Tuesday. <laughs> I, I know I'm late. I'm a bad girl. Uh, I was just too busy and couldn't get to it. Oh, I forgot to put the books down. Just pretend like you're not seeing that. Nothing happening here, nothing to see. <clears throat> okay. Oh, I almost forgot too. Look, see the bookcase, right? Okay, so uh, if you don't know, and if you're somebody who knows me, you know this because I've been talking about it nonstop for the last four weeks. <laughs> I got two bookcases, they both look just like this, and an accent chair. I, I wanted a certain, a specific material for the accent chair, so I'm not gonna get that for another few weeks, but the, both of the bookcases were supposed to come today. However, they called me yesterday and told me that one of the bookcases came with a, an incorrect side. So they were not able to put it together and bring it to me. So they went ahead and brought me the one, and then they'll bring me the other one this Friday. Um, it's supposed to be coming sometime during the week, and so they'll deliver it on Friday. So. <clears throat> this is not the final, like the books you're seeing on the shelf. I just like went out to the living room, grabbed a couple stacks of books and put them on here just so that you guys would have something to look at. Um, they will not be in this order once I have both bookcases. Um, so anyway, yeah, I'm really excited. I really like them. They're supposed to be white. They're not as white as I thought they were going to be. Cause you know, like I said, all I saw was the dark ones in the store. I liked the style. They said, oh, we have them in white. And I was like, yay, white, but it's not, it's, it's not really white. <laughs> I don't know what you'd call it. It's, it's kind of a almost grayish, slightly greenish kind of white. I don't know, but it's fine. I still like it. And I really like the whole distress look because, you know, I don't know. I like all antique -y looking stuff. So anyway, yeah, I'm really excited to get my um, other bookcase Friday. And then when I get my accent chiller, everything will be marvelous. I just can't wait. So the other thing that I got was this handy dandy little book cart. Did your kids ever watch Blue's Clues? Or I guess if you're a young person, you watch Blue, Blue's Clues. My son was super into Blue's Clues when he was little. We had Blue's Clues playing all the time. It was crazy. I, I can't stand that show though. <laughs> but that handy dandy, that was in that show. That's what reminded me of it. Anyway, I'm sorry I'm rambling again. It's, I'm, I'm hopeless. <laughs> so how about we talk about my books this week? <laughs> so this was my busy week. And it was especially busy. For some reason, I, every time I tried to read, I just kept getting interrupted. So I just, I didn't get through anything. I got through a couple of short stories, um, which I will talk about here in a minute. Um, but I'll kind of start in the beginning. If you remember from my last Sunday summary, I had started Heart of Iron by Ashley Poston. It's a young adult novel, and it's about um, an orphan, like a 17-year-old orphan girl who has become a space pirate. Space pirates. <laughs> And she's trying to save her uh, little android friend. And I'm on page 38. And I'm enjoying the story. It's a good story. I like the way it's written. Um, all of that. But, you know, I'm having the same trouble with this that I do with most young adult novels. And that is I just can't relate to it. I, you know, I just, I just can't, I just can't get into a teenage protagonist unless they are experiencing some really adult situations. Um, and so far, this is more sort of a kind of a space rock than a um, than anything really serious. Um, however, I, I do like it, and but I, I just I don't want to read this right now. So I'll probably finish it sometime in the future. So this one I'm setting aside for now. Uh, and then I picked up uh, I Am a Cat by Soseki uh, Natsumi, which I also mentioned in my last um, Sunday summary. And this is about a cat who lays around a lot and watches humans. And then the book is, is all supposed to be his, um, the things that he observes and his commentary about humans. <laughs> and I thought that sounds right up my alley. And I thought, oh, I'm really in the mood for that. I picked it up. I read uh, the introduction and I read a few pages in and I'm like, no, I'm not in the mood for this. <laughs> I'm not in the mood for this right now, although I was enjoying it and I'm pretty sure I'm going to like this. So I will try this again another time. Okay, and then um, for those of you who watched the video where I talked about this book, um, I have been uh, slowly reading this book. I didn't read it at all for two weeks, but I did pick it up again this week. Um, it is called the, B the Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. I don't really know how to explain what it's about. Um, it, it, it's told from the perspective of death. And when death comes to ferry his soul to the other side, he keeps observing this little girl. And so he's telling us um, about this little girl's life as he sees it. And in one of the scenes, 
she, uh, she sees a soldier drop a, a book. And so she picks up the book and goes and takes off with it. And so he's calling her the book thief. And I don't know if she's going to actually turn into an actual book thief or if he's just calling her the book thief because of what he witnessed her do with that soldier's book. I'm not sure. And, you know, and it's good and everything, but it's not exactly my cup of tea at this point. I'm up to page 57. So I just pick it up once in a while and read 20 or pages, 20 or so pages and then put it back down again. I'm just going to just kind of just going to kind of take my time with this book because I don't really want to put it aside completely. I do want to read it. Okay, and then I picked up The Anomaly by Michael Redger, and I'm on page 101, and I'm really, really enjoying this book. This is exactly what I'm in the mood for. It is described as, um, um, let's see, Indiana Jones meets The X-Files. <laughs> I really couldn't say no to that. Um, sorry, I have a ninja kitty on my knee here. Uh, he's, he's wanting to know what's going on, so he's poking his nose up at me. <laughs> Uh, so if you see me lean forward and stuff, that's what I'm doing. I'm petting my kitty cat. So anyway, yeah, this book is a good time so far. It's a little bit cheesy. It's a little bit cheesy in spots, but but it's funny. And, um, and it's supposed to be like a thriller. And so we just now got to the part where I think it's going to start to get thrillery. And so I'm really excited to see what's going to happen. But I am greatly enjoying this, and it is exactly what I'm in the mood for. I'm going to finish this today, by the way, because... I'm off today and tomorrow, and I'll have time to read. Okay, and the other book that I'm going to read this week, and I know for sure that I'll read this book because I'm really in the mood for fantasy, is book three in my favorite, favorite, favorite fantasy series of all time. And I do not know how to pronounce the series name because it is in German. It is like Dice Ire, maybe? Ire? Dice Ire? Dice Ire, maybe? Does that sound right? I don't speak German. I don't know. I took one year of it in high school. It wasn't my thing. So anyways, this one is book three called uh, Gates of Eventide. Uh, the first book is called Stealing the Light. The second book is called Into the Dark. They were both fantastic five-star reads. That, oh, by Lisa Hoffman. She's the author. How could I forget to say that? Um, and she has the H-O-F-A-M. I'm sorry. H-O-F-M-A-N-N -N is her name. When I originally was doing searches for her, I was doing two F's and one N, you know. So anyways, yeah, look her up. I highly recommend this fantasy series. If you, you know, it would be really good for a beginner fantasy person. It really would be because it doesn't have a hard magic system and it's not epic journeys and epic adventures and stuff like that. It is more of a soft magic system and the writing is absolutely beautiful. The character development is some of the best I've ever seen. I am in love with the characters. The girl on the book, her name is Catherine. Oh, she's the best character in the entire series. She's fantastic. And I cannot wait to find out what happens in this book because book two ripped my guts out so much. I was crying. I was just a blubbering mess in that book. And so I cannot wait to find out what happens in this one. So this week I am reading it. Okay, the other things I read was a short story also by Lisa, Lisa Hoffman that is a standalone short story. It's not related to the series and it's called Amber Flame. And I'll put the cover right here in this little space here. Um, that was a five star read. It was, I believe, 33 pages. So if you would like to see a sample of her writing, I would absolutely recommend picking up Amber Flame. You can get it for 99 cents on Amazon. It's excellent. I absolutely loved it. Um, and then I also downloaded the sample for Rage of Dragons because I've seen this talked about um, by Murphy Napier and Daniel Green, and they both loved it, are crazy about it. Murphy just finished it. She's absolutely crazy about it. So I'm like, well, I have to see what this is all about. Um, so I downloaded the sample and read that, and it does seem like it's probably good, but I don't think it's going to be my thing, but it may be a book that I pick up in the future and, and read. I don't know. And I'll put the cover in here too, which you should already be seeing it. Um, okay, so I believe that, oh, I almost forgot. We don't want to forget stuff. I'm still working on Fellowship of the Rings on audiobook. I actually um, listened to some more of that this morning while I was getting ready for the day and doing dishes and all that kind of thing. And then, oh yes, the other book that I'm going to, that I want to read this week is called Clouders by Vanessa Morgan. And again, I will put the cover here. Um, and it's a horror novel. I saw that on Rachel's channel over at the Shades of Orange, which I highly recommend her channel. Horror and thriller 
is sort of a, a barely explored genre for me. I don't read a lot of that. I've never read very much of that, but I've been wanting, I've been wanting to get more into it. And so I have gotten a lot of really good suggestions from her channel. And that Clouders is one that I got off of her channel where she was talking about female writers. So, I'm, and it's about cats too, you know, cause I'm all about the cats. <laughs> so anyways, I think that's everything. Um, I'll go ahead and end the video there. And now I'm also, now I'm going to record a book haul video cause I've got quite a few books that I need to talk about. Okay, so that's the end of that. And oh, I almost said I'll see you guys in the next one. I am so sorry. I will try to think of an outro that is not like everybody else's. And I'll try not to poke the button. I've been told that that's really annoying <laughs> by my best friend. He said that it's really annoying that I just poked the button at the end. So sorry, I'm poking the button because I'm a rebel.